Hello everyone, I am Christine Piles. I'm the Youth Services Manager here at the Euclid Public Library and I have a lot of books to tell you about today that are related to women's history. I really enjoy books that kind of have an encyclopedia nature and they talk about many different figures and all of the books I'll be talking about today have that feel to them. They talk about many different women in history. The first one is Rad American Women A to Z and this was kind of the original book of this kind that um, had this format take off. This is by Kate Schatz and it's illustrated by Miriam Kleinstall. And Miriam Kleinstall's artwork is paper cuts. So basically she takes um, black paper and makes cuts with a knife. And all of that white space is just negative space that she cuts out. So her artwork is very cool. And each figure gets an artwork page and then they get a write up about their accomplishments. And it goes through the alphabet. So A is for Angela J Davis, B is for Billie Jean King, C is for Carol Burnett, and it goes down through the alphabet. Um, there was a figure in this book that I had not really heard of prior to reading this book, and I am ashamed that I had not heard of her. Her name was Yuri Kochiyama, and she was a civil rights activist. And I was enamored by what I read about her, and I've sought out other things about her. And in fact, I bought Miriam Kleinstall's artwork of her. So I have an original print of Yuri Kochiyama, and I'm so proud that I own this because she just seemed like an amazing person. The next book that I have is Wonder Women by Sam Maggs, and this has um, the artwork piece just like the other one does. It's a smaller piece of art and then a longer write-up, so it's about four to six pages write-up on each figure. And this one has some lesser-known figures. There are people that I have not heard about in other books. So uh, Lee's Meitner, Emmy Nether, Alice Ball, Wang Duapo. So there's just a lot of people that I had not heard of. So this is a great one to get some obscure figures in your life. And the next one I have is called Brazen, Rebel Ladies Who Rocked the World by Penelope Bagu. And this particular book is a graphic novel. So each woman gets a few pages um, spread as a graphic novel to tell her story. This art was very cool. There are a lot of figures that I hadn't seen in other books. And this book, I call it a gateway book because I learned about the singer Betty Davis. So not the actress Betty Davis, but the singer. And I read her story and I said, oh, she seems kind of cool. Let me find out more about her. So then I listened to her music and she changed my world. I can't believe I lived so many years without having Betty Davis in my life. She is incredible. So her music is available on Hoopla if you're interested. It's B-E-T-T-Y Davis. And she was married to Miles Davis briefly and then she embarked on a music career. She was blacklisted for music in the 70s because her music was just too sexy and too raunchy and people weren't ready for it. Um, but listen, listening to it now, it's so innovative and so edgy and just so amazing. It's like funk, basically, and oh, it's just so good. You have to listen to her music. So please check out Hoopla and check out Brazen by Penelope Bagu. Finally, I would like to talk about Bad Girls Throughout History by Anne Shen. And this book has that same style with a, an image of a person and then a few pages about them. And what I liked about this one is that it covers a lot of famous figures who may have been forgotten to history or who are not as well known as they used to be. Um, I have, during the pandemic, gotten into movies from the 30s and 40s. I've spent a lot of time watching movies. And there is a write-up about Norma Shearer, who I adore. I watched her in The Divorcee, which she won an Academy Award for in 1930. And then The Women, which is an amazing movie, has Joan Crawford um, and also Rosalind Russell. And then there's a write-up about Edith Head. There's one about Lucille Ball. There's one about Mae West, who I recently learned about, and she's amazing. So there's a lot of great figures in this book that you may not read about in other books of this kind. So I'm going to go back through Rad American Women A to Z. You can get from the library and on Libby. Bad Girls Throughout History, you can get from the library and on Libby. Brazen, Rebel Ladies Who Rock the World, you can get from the library. 
and Wonder Women is available on Libby with your Euclid Public Library card. So please take some time to celebrate some great women in history during Women's History Month.